Hey everybody, uh, so sorry about the audio in this video. It's uh, the GoPro 3 that I had didn't record the audio for some reason with the little ear microphone thing plugged in. So there's going to be some clips without any audio on it, but stick around because we're going to do a catch clean cook on what we got and hopefully it turns out good. See y'all there. What's up everybody and welcome back to Soggy Bottoms Outdoors. Uh, today we're going to be going out to a uh, pond or lake with my buddy Colt. They got some land for their hunt club that we couldn't access until after deer season. So that went out yesterday so we're going to give it a try today. Um, it's kind of been raining all day, uh, about 47 degrees. Uh, it's probably going to drizzle all evening but um, we're going to go out there and see if we can get on some of the ducks that are coming through that are uh, before they go off to the roost and some of the geese that might be flying through. Uh, probably won't have the big camera out there today uh, since it's going to be drizzling, but I might take it out there, just leave it in the bag. If we get a chance to film something on the big camera, great. Otherwise, we'll have the GoPro going and hopefully get some good content for you. All right, so we shot a couple birds, um, and then they all kind of just got up and uh, flew out of here. And Colt ended up shooting a hen ring neck. At 80 yards flying. He says at 80 yards flying. <laughs> I wasn't here, so I don't know. Um, but that was the one that you saw that June and I went after, and it came up out of the bushes, and I finished it. Um, I shot a hen merganser because save the fish and that's all I'm gonna say um, we just throw our little decoys out here we only put out five ring neck decoys um, right out here in front hopefully they come back hopefully some geese come in but we'll see what's up everybody we ended up with one hen ring neck one hen merganser uh, we saw a lot of mergansers and ring necks out there not too many puddle ducks typically go through there um, so we had a few come swimming in and we decided to shoot and after that they all kind of got up and flew away, and we got a couple more shots off, and only two mergangers came back in, a drake and a hen, and we really couldn't get a shot off after then. So um, that's what we ended with today. They are going to be eaten. Uh, not sure what recipe we're going to go with yet, but if it doesn't work out, we're going to try a desperate recipe because we shoot it, we eat it, that's how it works for us. All right, everybody, so we're in the kitchen now. Um, what we're going to do is go over what I did with these merganser and ringneck breast. Um, so I got it in a metal bowl. I had it soaking in cold water and it kept it in the fridge for three days. Changed the water out regularly. Anytime it looked like it had blood in it, just change it out, run into water for about five minutes, cold water, and then put it in the fridge for the night. 
and do it, repeat that process to the next day. Um, and then I soaked it in milk for about 24 hours and I've drained it now. What I'm going to add is onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, paprika, and Montreal steak seasoning. You don't have to put a whole ton on there, just enough for taste. And you can use whatever seasonings you want. And I should say welcome to Soggy Bottom Kitchen, as Allison likes to say. Just get on there nice and covered. Now the fun part, get your hand in there, mix it all up. Now a lot of people don't like eating divers like this, but um, I think if you take these steps and just draining the blood out as much as possible, soaking it, and then just soaking it in milk, which also draws a lot more blood out and kind of coats it, um, you get a good flavor out of it. All right, so we're going to move out to the grill. All right, so you get the grill nice and warm. I got a flat top here, um, just a black stone that I love cooking on. Highly recommend it. And I like cooking over butter on these. It gives a good flavor on them. So, just gives you a couple chunks of butter. Go ahead and spread it all around. You don't want it cooked really hot, but a good even temperature across the board. And you don't want to overcook these. You want to get them up to temperature, up to temperature about 165. All right. And I said paprika earlier, I meant chili powder. Red chili. And a couple hearts for me. Take your stylus, put it on top. And let those go for a little bit. We'll check them in a bit. All right, we're gonna give her a flip. And don't worry, folks. Allison's in the kitchen cooking a fire. Uh, a nice good dinner so that if these turn out poorly then we, we still got dinner like I said this is a merganser breast and ring neck breast which again most people don't like to eat mergansers because they say they don't taste good but if you take the time and drain all the blood out as much as you can and soak them like I have I think the process is a lot better If you don't eat the hearts, you're missing out. They're awesome. It doesn't matter what kind of duck you get. The heart always tastes good. Taste test. See that? That's perfect. Great. Give it a try. Oh yeah. Now I don't know if that's the merganser or the ring neck, but it's good. Oh yeah. Like I said, soak it for a few days. Change the water out when it gets bloody. The last day before you're gonna eat it, soak it in milk, and then drain the milk, season it. Cook it over butter, cast iron, or on a on a grill. It's awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. I uh, hope you found that useful information. And remember, soak your meat. It's all about the process. You can eat divers. You can eat mergansers. I was kind of doubtful because I don't think I've really ever eaten them before, but they turned out good. And Allison liked them. 
So thanks for stopping by Soggy Bottoms Kitchen, and hope you have a great day. See ya. Any words for the folks, Colt? Any words, Colt? Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs, kids. I got a good-looking home cooking girl. I come home to.